What's going on everybody and welcome to this brand new player review. Today we are going to be looking at the second in form of the Bosnian and Manchester City striker Edin Dzeko who's been pushed up to an 84 with his second in form of the year. First things first, if you do enjoy the video be sure to throw a like on it, it'd be fantastic if we could get over 10 likes again. And also subscribe to the channel if you've not already to make sure you never miss any fantastic FIFA content. But um, before we go any further, his record as you can see is pretty good, 5 goals in 2 games is pretty outstanding to be honest. But the reason I've only played 2 games, usually as you all know by now I'd imagine I like to play 5. But I, just, I was struggling to find games, the servers went down yesterday for a long period of time. I've gone out, come back in, the servers are back up, so I've tried to play three more games for the uh, for the review, but as you'll see from some uh, sped up footage now, I just I couldn't find any opponents, I don't know what was going on, hopefully it's fixed now, I'll have a look after work today when I'm finished because I'm recording this in the morning to get it out for you later on today. So apologies if it is out a bit later than the usual upload time for me, but like I said, I was trying to get more games in, I don't know why I couldn't find a game. It's just, I'm assuming it's more FIFA issues from me, who I praised up in the last video stupidly, and now they've gone and slapped me in the face for it. But, I'll move on to Edin Dzeko. Like I said, he's been pushed up to an 85. I did have the dead eye card on him. 73 pace, 82 dribbling, 89 shooting, which is phenomenal. 73 passing and 77 physical. He's going for between 50,000 and 75,000 coins. You can see I got him towards the lower end of that for 58k, but his price is only going to drop as the week goes on, I'd imagine. Um, is he worth the 50k? Probably not. He's probably worth, in my opinion, 30 to 40 because he is a very, very good card. He reminds me very, very much of Edin Dzeko on his day in real life. He's not the quickest, obviously, but he has got fantastic ball control. He can hold the ball up well. He's got fantastic strength shooting. But what this man has got more than anything else, or anyone else, I should say, that I've used on this game this year so far is heading he is bringing back the OP crossing, I swear to God, I've scored so many headers for it with him. I'll roll some footage now and I'll show you some of his better game stats. Like I say, he's dribbling his 86, which is actually really good, and his ball control's not too shabby either at 86. That means, although he's not a fantastic outside-the-box player, if you know what I mean, he, he, he's alright at linking up, his passing's not the best, but once he gets into that box, he is just lethal. He's got 90 finishing, which is phenomenal. His positioning's 90, which is phenomenal. He's got fantastic shot power, he's got just, everything about him just stinks of Edin Dzeko in real life. He's got, like I say, he's a fantastic box player is what I'd describe him as. When he gets in the box, he's finishing, he's heading, his positioning is all fantastic. Outside the box, however, like I say, his passing's not the best, although he has got very, very good dribbling and ball control, which means he can hold up the ball well, especially when you partner that in with his fantastic strength as well. I believe his strength is um, around the 89 area. He's got 90 volleys as well, like I say, he's very, very much a technically gifted sort of in-the-box in striker. He's very traditional, old-school striker, but don't be thinking you're going to be able to burn past defenders with him. His dribbling's good, but because of his low, low, low pace, most centre-backs are able to keep, it, keep up with him, and he does tend to get his goals by escaping them in the box with his good position. And like I say, his heading was just absolutely out of this world. His finishing's fantastic as well, 9 times out of 10. He's taking the chances when you do get him through on goal. And for that reason, I'm going to like say I rate him really, really hardly. I'd say he's worth perhaps the lower end of his value, 50k. Like I said before, 30 to 40. If you're someone that likes crossing in the ball a lot, like on FIFA 14, because that's obviously something that doesn't happen as much on this FIFA, then go out and get this player. Because like I say, his, his aerial ability is well above anyone else I've used this year. It's absolutely outstanding. And I think that, like I said, it's due to his positioning, his uh, strength. His jumping's not the best, but it doesn't need to be when he's standing at 6'4", which is really, really good. He's got a four-star weak foot as well. It'd be fantastic if he had four-star skill moves. Like, he's, he's never going to have that, obviously, because he's not that kind of player. But if he did, then he'd almost remind me of Ibrahimovic, as daft as that sounds. A slower version, because his dribbling's not great. He's, he's okay, like I say, sorry. But it's just his pace that lets him down, really. But nevertheless, I'm going to be giving this card... I uh, 7.5 out of 10. So if I send a bit strange by the way, my throat feels really dry at the minute. I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, I'd give him a 7.5 out of 10. Really, really strong player. Fantastic finishing, shooting, positioning. His heading is out of this world, but he's always going to have the pace as a letdown. And his passing is not the best either. But for 40 to 50k, I think if you like the heading and the crossing game, he's worth an investment in giving a go. Like I say, he's by far the best player I've used this year as far as heading goes. And he is a great striker. Five goals, five goals in two games. You can't be bad, can it, really? But um, that is going to bring the end this Edin Dzeko second in form review. Like I said before, if you do enjoy the video and the content that I've put up there, be sure to throw a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I will speak to you all in tomorrow's video, which should be the next episode of the MLS League of Legends. I'll speak to you all then. 
Nidget. What is going on everybody? It is Nidget and welcome to this brand new Team of the Week review. We are on to Team of the Week 29, April the 1st today. It is actually my birthday. I was hoping for a six